On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, iBuyPower has absolutely everything. CyberPower PC has mostly the things. NZXT Build has inventory issues. Build Redux has our hearts. And Main Gear leaves us and their components breathless. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello everyone, my name is Breathorn. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we like to share facts about dates. For instance, compared to this same day last year, today, July 11th, 2021, is exactly one year later. I know. Shocking. But what does this mean for you? Well, if you've been trying to build a PC, a gaming PC, and you're waiting for that GPU, well, some GPUs are finally becoming available for direct purchase like wild moose appearing in the gentle thaw of Canadian spring, or however that works for them. And we don't get much winter in Texas. Anyway, if you live near a micro center, befriend a micro center employee, find out when the GPU shipment will arrive, and then camp it out. You might get lucky. For the rest of us, many of us who don't live near a micro center, so stop asking. Well, we have our option. Our option is pre-built computers. For those who love to build PCs like myself, it's a concession. It's an option. You get all the parts that you would need to build a PC, except they're just put together. So take them apart and put them together again. Consider it like field stripping a rifle and reassembling it. Yeah, it's a lot cooler now, isn't it? Chef Messi, that's for you. But for everybody else who just wants to game, pre-built PCs are the best way to go anyway. And forget all the haters out there who are saying they would never buy a pre-built gaming PC, especially the ones who come into your next video talking about how they don't like the pre-built PC that they bought. Boy, that was a good one. <laughs> I swear, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, you probably could, but I didn't. That actually happened. So what we're doing today, as we do every Sunday, is we're going to be looking at several different system integrators like iBuyPower, NZXT Build, Build Redux, etc. And seeing what they have in stock, what they have ready to ship, and what they have ready to assemble so that you can get a custom gaming PC for your enjoyment. Okay, now a few notes. As I mentioned earlier, this video was filmed on July 11th, 2021. That means that what we're looking at here in this video may change. Availability changes every single day sometimes, and that may affect your shopping experience if you're trying to follow along. If something's missing that you were anticipating from this video, just wait it out a bit because stock is very good right now and it is only improving. Next, a lot of this is based on my opinions. My opinions were formed after many years in the tech industry and many more years as a custom PC enthusiast. However, feel free to disagree politely in the comments below or you know, why don't you bother me on stream and tell me that you disagree? I stream every Sunday and Thursday, twitch.tv slash Brayathorn around 8, 8.30 central. PM, that's PM. I'm not a morning person. Now I got a fun announcement for you guys and I'm excited about this. Um, so I decided that I wanted to uh, have you guys know a little bit more about me. You can get to know me a little better. So what we're going to do is I am going to post a tweet on the Twitter uh, because I've been totally neglecting my Twitter, trying to grow on there or whatever, uh, but that's where we're gonna do this. I'm gonna post a tweet there, and this is for a Q&A video. And uh, all you gotta do is um, make sure that you're following me on Twitter, for one thing, uh, because that's kind of the reason I'm doing this. But other than that, um, post a question. Uh, just comment on that tweet with a question that you have for me. Now, if you're coming in with a question like, I have $2,000, what gaming PC do you recommend? I will block you. <laughs> That's not what this is for. That's what the Discord is for. That's what the streams are for, especially. So if that's the question you've got, be there Thursday, 8 p.m. Central, twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. What this is for is for you guys to ask me questions like, hey, well, how did you get into computers? Or what's your, your what are you excited for with computers? What's the, um, what do you think, when do you think GPUs are gonna, I'm sure gonna get, get, gonna get that question. When are GPUs gonna be available again? Or just, any questions you've got for me that are appropriate, um, I will do my best to answer. So I can't, I probably won't, you know, hopefully it's, this is successful enough to where I can't answer all of them. I'd love to have that problem. And if that's the case, um, you go through the other questions and like the ones that you think you'd like me to answer. Okay. This is not a contest. This is just for fun. It's going to be a totally separate video from the system integrator weekly videos. 
Cool. Cool. So it's just at Brea Thorne on Twitter. Go check me out there. Go follow because I need to start using Twitter more and I need to be better about social media just so I can connect with you guys more in as many ways as possible because I love my community and you guys are way too awesome for me not to take advantage of every opportunity to contact you know, to stay to stay in touch with you was that creepy that's not i'm not creepy i promise boy saying it like that doesn't help does it if you want to participate just please make sure that you're a subscriber here on the youtube channel and you're follow you start following me on twitter and uh, i promise i will tweet more than you've seen there um who knows later on maybe i'll do an instagram thing or something who knows i don't whatever um, but yeah, that should do it. First off, we're looking at iBuyPower, kind of a tradition around here. And we're looking at iBuyPower's same day ready systems. Now these systems are built and ready to ship. That means two things. You get it very quickly, a matter of days. However, you cannot customize them. Now, generally they'll have some kind of budget option available. In this case, they actually don't. Uh, their lowest price system is, well, we're, not, we're ignoring the, the, the Revolt 2. We're, we're, not, we're not looking at the Revolt 2. It's a small form factor system that is not well laid out, uh, to say the least. However, for a normal tower PC, you're looking at 1979 being the lowest priced option. Uh, however, there are a lot of options hovering around the $2,000 mark here available immediately. Okay, these are all pretty much the same, except that this middle one goes for a last gen 2080 Super, which is still a fantastic video card. Don't get me wrong. However, the one above and below it, those two have the RTX 3070. So I would recommend those in general, just because the 3070 does outperform the 2080 Super in most be benchmarks. Um, now, if we scroll down though, forget about those, because you're actually looking at a price of $19.99 on sale, $100 off. In this system, it comes with a Ryzen 7 5800X and a GeForce GTX 3070. So the same combo I use and my system right here that I build, and I love that combo. I do everything with it. Gaming, streaming, content creation, including video editing, graphic design, all that kind of stuff, all on a 5800X and a 3070. Now, it does come with 3200 megahertz RAM, which most of the, all of these do actually, which is not the best pairing for a 5000 series Ryzen processor. However, you can always upgrade your RAM later on easily. All of them come with a one terabyte M.2 NVMe drive and 240 millimeter RGB liquid coolers, all in one liquid cooling systems. And all of them come in cases that have terrible airflow and you cannot change that for the same day ready systems, but you can change that yourself by buying a case and moving the parts over. Uh, but that's the case you get it in and you can migrate it to another case later on, which again, as I've been reminding you guys, I've got a case migration how to video coming out in a month or two. Um, that's going to be a lot of work to get done because we want it to be as detailed as possible so we don't miss any uh, things that you might need to know. So let's move on from this and look at what iBuyPower has for their uh, custom systems. Now, the great news here, and it's, it's, it's fantastic, fantastic news. iBuyPower has gotten a ton of GPUs in. The only one that they have any kind of lead time on is the 3060. All the rest of them, they don't have that four weeks lead time, two weeks lead time, none of that. These are all in stock. Three options from AMD's Radeon 6000 series, the 6700 XT, 6800 XT, and 6900 XT. And pretty much every offering other than the 3060 is available immediately from NVIDIA. That includes the 3070. That's why you see three different same day ready systems with the 3070 in it. They are apparently when it comes to 3070s, their cup runneth over. I don't know how you'd put graphics cards in a cup. Is it a big cup? Probably, but it's running over. It runneth over. That's uh, the phrase. They have the 1660 Supers in stock. They have the, <laughs> the forget that uh, 1030. You don't need that. They have 2060s and the price on those is very close to, uh, very close to each other. 3060 Ti's, 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, and 3090. Every option except for one, all available for building into your, for, for slotting into your custom builds immediately. 
So you'd want to come in here and do a custom system, which we'll throw one together really quickly. If you're doing a custom system for MyBuyPower, if they have the Lian Li Lancool 2 mesh case in stock, grab that one. And if not, then you can look at the Lancool non-mesh and the Be Quiet Pure Base 500, uh, I believe has a swappable front panel that you can swap for the higher airflow option. Now for the Lancool 2 mesh, you're going to want to add about three fans into there. Um, these deep cool ones would do just fine and give you your nice fancy RGB. Well, then you get to choose your processor. For this build, we're going to go ahead and go with the 5600X um, six core 12 thread processor from AMD. And then for the 5600X, you can stay on the 120 millimeter if you want to, but it's only $7 to go up to a 240 millimeter or $26 to go to a 360 millimeter all in one liquid cooler. Now. 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler is overkill for a 5600X. However, if you would later on wanted to upgrade to a more powerful processor, you have a lot more cooling potential there. Now, I do always recommend 3600 megahertz memory for the 5000 series Ryzen processors. And that recommendation is not coming from me because I don't have a bunch of these systems around to test it. It's been thoroughly tested online and found that this is the best frequency for your RAM to get the most potential out of your processor. Okay, it is a bit of a step up on price. You could stick with the RAM that they give you and then upgrade your RAM later. Very easy upgrade. One of the easiest upgrades you can do to a computer. Um, but in this case, we're just going to go with their, you can go with their certified major brand gaming memory with no heat spreader and all that if you want, or go through these and pick out the nice fancy RGB memory if you want. For this build, let's go with a 3060 Ti. Okay, so 5600X and the 3060 Ti is an excellent, excellent combination. You can do your, do your 1440p gaming and your, of course, it'll crush 1080p like crazy. So this is excellent right here. Now, if you're wanting to do more multitasking or multi-threaded processes, and this, this rule of thumb is going to go for all the rest of the systems that we look at tonight or today, um, you're going to want more cores usually. The 5600X can do some content creation and it can definitely stream, that's for sure, especially if you get an NVIDIA card with that sweet NVENC encoder on it. However, if you want to do stuff like you know, video editing and Adobe suite stuff, then you're going to want to go with some probably with the uh, 5800X for $109 more. And that's instead of six cores, 12 threads, it's eight cores, 16 threads. Okay, so that's your option there. Keep that in mind if gaming is not the only thing you've got your sights set on. Then we come down here to our motherboards, okay? Now, a lot of the sales that were on before have gone away. You don't get the free upgrade to the MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk and all that. You do get $20 off the ROG Strix B550, but that is just a more expensive motherboard anyway. So I would say probably moving up to the uh, MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk on your own is a good choice for $41. Now, uh, they've got a sale going on on all their thermal take power supplies, which they've had that going on for a while. And I just wonder if they have trouble moving those. Um, but for this setup here, you can totally go with just 650 watts, no problem. And the Corsair RM650 is an excellent choice there for $58 more. And uh, yeah, see right here though, as you can see here, we're already at $2,231. This is really illustrating how good of a deal this system is right here with the 5800X and the GeForce GTX 3070. Now, where they cut corners here is going to be on the motherboard and on the power supply. Okay, they're going to give you the minimum power supply that would be appropriate for the hardware. And it, it'll be 80 plus, 80 plus gold certified, but those certifications can only take you so far if they cut corners elsewhere. However, just the, the value proposition of this system right here, excellent. Absolutely, 100%, totally worth it right here. Uh, this is something that you can build on. You can get better RAM later on, upgrade that. You can add more storage. Storage is very easy to add. I just keep coming back to this one because it's not gonna be there for long, I think. Let's move on right here to CyberPower PC. Let's take a look at their instant ship systems first. So it seems like CyberPower PC is wanting to move some Intel stock. So they have all Intel systems for their instant ship systems. However, there are some very good options here. 
I like this one. This one right here is going to have a i5 11400F Intel processor with a GeForce RTX 2060. And this set, this setup runs you 1289. So not bad at all. Great budget system here. And their case is not the best for airflow, but it's not the worst that I've seen. If you're playing a game and after about 15, 20 minutes, it starts to run poorly, you have bad thermals and you need to do a case migration or modify your case, which is not easy with a glass front panel. So case migration video coming soon. Get subscribed so you don't miss it because we're going into the in, into the nitty gritty on this, making sure that we skip nothing. Now, looking at what CyberPower PC has for their custom systems. So let's go to customize this system here and take it out of this restrictive case and put it into. Did they get any of these in stock? Do they have any? Oh, they got the 4000D, not Airflow Edition, but you can change out that front panel. However, I will say CyberPower PC has better options for your cases than iBuyPower does. They have all the O11 Dynamics, all the different versions of that, including the Air, um, the Summit 1G Edition, which because they make these, they have the Razer Edition and uh, the Lyric Edition, which the Lyric and Summit 1G Editions, I believe, are exclusive to uh, CyberPower PC. Now, you also have the Fantex Eclipse P400A and P500A. Let's say, though, that we go with the P400A high airflow ATX case, and then we're going to go here to the case fans, and we are going to deck it out with three 120 millimeter Fantex case fans right there. And then when you go to your uh, all in one liquid cooler, you can get yourself a 360 millimeter all in one liquid cooler. That would mean three fans on the front for intake, two on the top and one in the back for exhaust. Two in the top for exhaust, one in the back for exhaust, and then you have a full profile of fans for intake and exhaust. Now let's go ahead and move up here to a 5000 series processor. It's only $46 more to get the 5600X and it's far better gaming performance than the 3700X. Sorry to say, it is true. As for your all-in-one liquid cooler, you can go with the uh, 120 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler uh, that it comes with if you're using a 5600X, but you'll get better performance if you go with a 240 or 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. It is only $40 more to get the 360 and only $20 more to get the two four. Actually, no, we'll go with this one. $10 more right there. Bam. CyberPower PC by default likes to put you on an X570 board and they don't drop the price very much if you go to a B550. So you can save yourself about $50 to go to the cheapest B550 motherboard. I wouldn't go to the, I wouldn't go with the cheapest one, pretty much. Um, maybe the Asus Tough Gaming B550 Plus. Uh, you also need to ask yourself whether you need Wi-Fi or not, or if you're going to have your computer plugged in with Ethernet. It's a pretty important question, because if you go and set up your brand new gaming PC and you're like, wait, why can't I hook up to the Wi-Fi? Well, it might not have it built in, but it will tell you like right here, MSI MPG B550 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi right there with Wi-Fi 6, which is the newer standard of Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, this one is plus $69. Nice. However, the one that this comes with does not have Wi-Fi built in. So what do you do if you want to keep this motherboard and you need to connect to that uh, wireless Internet? Well, you go down to the near the bottom or closer to the bottom anyway, right here. Look at this. Thirty five dollars will get you killer Wi-Fi 6 AX 1650 dual band Wi-Fi. That is AX Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi 6. So it's the newer standard. And it just plugs right into your motherboard and you have the little antenna sticking out of the back and there you go. You're on the Internet. Oh, cool. So you can actually get a free EVGA 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply. Not bad coming from their standard, you know, generic one. I would probably spend the $18, though, and get the Thermaltake Tough Power GF1 just to have that extra, say, overclocking headroom. And uh, we didn't pick a graphics card. So this is the important part here. We got to see what GPUs are available here. So it's a little harder to read it here, but you'll notice that the 3080, 3070 and 3060 from NVIDIA are all on extra two week lead times, whereas they have the TI versions of each of those cards all in stock and ready to go. They also have the 2060 and the 1650 in stock. 
Uh, if you're looking for a budget graphics card, you do better going with iBuy Power because they have the 1660 Super, which is far superior to the 1650. Now, if you want a Radeon card, you can get the 6700 XT with no extra lead time, and apparently it's $50 off right now. That's what's included with the system right now. Uh, however, if you want the 6800 non-XT version, that's an extra four weeks lead time. And if you want the XT version of that or the 6900 XT, it's an extra two weeks lead time. Uh, storage is gonna be a one terabyte MSI Spatium M370. And uh, you can actually get a free two terabyte hard drive, SATA 3 spinning hard drive, uh, with uh, all desktop purchases right now from CyberPower PC. So if you're going to do a custom build for CyberPower PC, be sure to get that free, um, that's a freebie of solid state drive. That's not a solid state drive. That is a hard disk drive. Thanks guys. Um, free two terabyte hard drive with a single SSD purchase, which you would be getting with the M.2 SSD. It seems like in every video, I spend about a third of the video at least talking about iBuyPower and CyberPower PC. Now, why is that when there are other companies that I am looking at and I spend less time on those? Well. CyberPower PC and iBuyPower are very similar in that they have a ton of options and it's a lot more granular and you can really, really customize these, okay? Compare this level of customization with even NZXT Build and they don't have as many options, not nearly as many options. And then something like Corsair, which Corsair builds amazing PCs but they really guide you on what you can get. They only say, hey, pick your processor, or pick your, your GPU. Maybe you have two choices of GPU per processor. It's, it's not that customizable, but if it doesn't matter to you, you can get a great system from Corsair, which we're not looking at today. We've looked at them in several of the past videos, including last week's. If you're curious about Corsair pre-builds, go to the last video, check them out there. So speaking of NZXT, let's move on over and see if their website is still a mess. Um, so we go to nzxt.com, go to gaming PCs and build a custom PC and hit start your build. I get asked a lot about the starter series, streaming PC, uh, not really the creator PC as much. I get asked a lot about these. I've talked about them in previous videos. So yeah, I think in one, I even said that I fix the streaming PC. Go check that one out. It was a it was a good video, and I actually got a cheaper system with or the same price with better parts. Let's go with AMD right here. Continue to build, and we're just gonna see what they have in stock. So okay, so we got a 3060 Ti right here, and uh, we're gonna select that because it's a better value proposition than the 3070 Ti. Uh, let's just pick a 750 watt gold power supply modular XPG. That should be a good one. And this, oh, they're out of the 5800X. Hmm. Hmm. Me no like it, but the 5600X with the 3060 Ti, we were just talking about that on, uh, was it, iBuy Power. Okay, so for the case, you can stick with the NZXT H510. Some people have been, been able to get decent airflow out of those. Decent though. Uh, but you'll get better airflow, airflow out of the H510 Elite or the H710, which is the one I personally would recommend because you have far better intake and exhaust. Uh, so it's, this is already optimized with 3600 megahertz G-Skill Triton Z Royal. So we're sticking with that. If you're just gaming, 16 gigs of RAM is plenty. If you're streaming, 16 gigs will take you where you need to go. If you're doing content creation, 32 or 64, just trust me. If you're editing video, you need more RAM. If you're producing music, don't even get me started. <laughs> you need more RAM. Okay, we're gonna stick with this motherboard. ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Plus is great, has Wi-Fi built in, all that. And then the storage will up this from the one terabyte to, uh, from the 500 gigs to one terabyte. It is not available. We will not do that. So you'd have to look here at the, yeah, 970 Evo Plus. And then we delete. They will not automatically remove the original one that was on there. So you need to do that yourself. Hit that little red trash can. There you go. So we're actually looking at a pretty good price on this system. I like it. Uh, oh, except for the fact that you know, this can run the 5600X. The Kraken M22 is a 120 millimeter, all in one liquid cooler, and that can handle the 5600X. But, you know, it might be come out a little bit warm during gaming. So 
I generally recommend the X63 as long as it's available. So we'll go ahead and hit that. And then we pretty much have a complete system here. So let's roll the dice. Let's see if it is available. Oh, the one terabyte M.2 drive is sold out. Let's go back and configure again. All right, upgrade, upgrade time. We're gonna go for a one terabyte uh, M.2 drive that is PCIe Gen 4 in the Seagate Fire Cuda 520. Fire Cuda 520. Okay, this week, you're not buying from NZXT Build. No, I, I can't support this kind of thing, man. This is Bush League. This is stupid. I, I, I like... Y'all can come at me all day long and tell me, yeah, but they tell you what GPU you're getting, if you can get it. Even if they tell you you can get it, sometimes you can't get it. You can here. Whoopity do. This is so much of a headache. Like this is, it's already stressful enough to buy a computer, guys, I know. So I'm not gonna just, no. Not NZXT build, not this week. Now, guess who gets this stuff right? Build Redux. Build Redux continues to do things right. And if you go, go to the description below. Maybe after the video. Keep that viewer retention up, please. Um, and just go to the Discord, go to the rig section, and you'll see like, made what, four now, five build Redux systems that community members have bought, and they come out awesome. Let's build a PC real quick. Uh, but look at this. Go to customize. Look at this. Look at these GPUs. All available, every one of them that they normally get is available. All right. So check this out. Here's what I'm gonna do for those of you who come into the comments and say, I have this much, what's good? Okay, get yourself 5600X, bam. Memory, stick with the 16 gigs. If you're just gaming, perfect, all right? Storage, upgrade to one terabyte MVME M.2, and if you want to go with the extra two terabyte hard drive, you can do so. So we've already got our processor, memory, storage, and Windows, I guess, uh, sorted. So this system right here, this price comes with a six, GTX 1660. It does not say 1660 Super. A 1660 Super or TI is what I recommend if you're going for that budget card, for that class of card. But if we go with 3060, it's only a little bit more. I mean, you're talking about going from 1682 to 1847, $150 more to get yourself, or more or less, okay? Don't at me, I didn't do the math on that. More or less $150 more to get yourself a 30 series card. And this ships in three weeks or less or more, right around three weeks. Uh, now, this is where if you say, oh, well, I have $2,000, what's good? Go to a 3060 Ti, 1966. Oh, I have $2,200. All right, 3070, 2148. Oh, I've got, just cl keep clicking. The higher, don't get the, don't get the Ti. Well, actually 2208 versus 2148. I mean, you could get this. I mean, it's only a little bit more to get the TI on the 3070, but this right here is where it really shines. 3080 system for 2392, done. You got your magical 3080, the unicorn right there. $2,392. If you have $24, $2,500, this is it. This is it right here. Now we're moving on to main gear. This, uh, this system integrator has been recommended or requested many times. Now, Main Gear is more of a boutique builder. There is a, an element of, hey, there's a Main Gear tax, but it's not as bad as Digital Storm from what I've actually been looking at here. But the starting price is gonna be around $1,700. Just putting that out there. There are some really good systems though. And of course you've got a coupon code right here, friends of main gear, put that in your uh, code, use that as a code at checkout and you get a, a free two year warranty with the pre-config. Okay, it's very specific, but th there it is. So these are their pre-configured gaming desktops, not where we would customize them, but this is where you can just come here, pick a build that fits your budget and it's, it's done, okay? And these are the, the vibe systems, okay? Now I'm not, 100% on these cases. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on these cases being good because it's a solid front panel and there are no pictures showing where the intake is coming from. I'm not kidding. Not one picture shows where the intake is. There's fans on the front. I don't see vents for them. On the sides, on the front, maybe there's a, there's a straw poking out somewhere, a uh, snorkel, I don't know but these are really popular. So 
cool. But look at this, look at this right here. $1699 gets you a 5600X and a 3060 Ti. That's awesome, hold on. Let's go back to Build Redux, let's take a look here. 3060 Ti, 5600X, $1966. Well, hold on, let's let's go down to the, okay, let's go down to that. 1917, what? Does Main Gear have a better price than Build Redux? Have I been a fool this whole time? Yes. Yes, I have. These systems are actually pretty good price-wise. I, I, I know, I know, just, just bear with me. 3070, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, Founders Edition. They say Founders Edition on all these cards, by the way. Founders Edition cards are awesome. Uh, Ryzen 7 5800X. This is my build right here. Uh, sort of, I mean, I, it's custom. Mine's custom and it's got other stuff going on there, but still, can I just point out this too? I want to talk to whoever plans out these systems. I want to high five them. Can I hide these? Is, is there a system for that? Is there a request that I can put in? Because they're using 3600 megahertz RAM on every one of these 5000 series processors. Oh man, that just makes me misty. I, I love that. That's that's just just great. One system with 3080 for 2599, get it with the Ryzen 9 5900X, 12 core, 24 threads. It's all 16 gigs of RAM until you get up to the uh, to the $3,500 system with the 5900X. See this system? No. Now, yeah, they double the RAM. Yeah, it's a 3080 Ti. So he, he, maybe because that's near, that's right at 3090 territory performance wise. They could have gone maybe 5950X on that though, and made it the absolute clear 100% boss system. But yeah, no, this right here, this right here, $2,099. Each one of these is a healthy step up in price, but a healthy step up in performance. And honestly, I cannot fault them for this. I'm not sure about their airflow. I'm really not. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that I don't like this setup with the three fans, like this is not enough, but I need a better look at the case pretty much. Main gear is better on prices than I thought, but they may be having some issues there with their airflow. Now I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking good. Like, is this the side? Is this is this the intake right here? Can they please just show me that? So I don't feel like an idiot. Where is that? What part of it is it? It's too zoomed in, zoom out. Okay, so these are the other cases here. Like you can basically get the O11 dynamic right here. Um, starting at 2187, out of stock, you can't get that. Uh, never mind. Uh, this is what you'll see a lot of whenever you're watching a YouTube video about a main gear system. You see the turbo, their small form factor system, and these are pretty sweet and, and they perform very, very well. But they start at 2162, and I think that's without the Apex custom liquid cooling that they're known for. So I'll tell you what, one of you guys, the, for you guys that are out there, telling me that I need to check out main gear. I did so. I have doubts about their airflow. And um, if you want me to help you do a main gear build, come to the stream. We'll figure it out. But I can't make any straight up recommendations just because the vibe does not seem to have good airflow. But yeah, as much as I want to just straight up recommend uh, something like what I saw in those pre-configs, and you could go for that if you want. Just keep an eye on your thermals if you're going to do that, because it it doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't look too promising at a glance. And there's no photos there that show me, hey, here's the airflow diagram like you'll get when you're looking at cases. Okay, that is important. So now one of my favorite parts of every video, the comment of the week. This one is from one of our Discord members and someone who uh, went to the uh, PC stream and actually got the computer that we went through there. Uh, that's Kafakori. Kafakori says, I can vouch the Thursday PC assist streams are fun and so helpful. Ordered the Corsair Vengeance PC the following weekend that was recommended to me for my needs, wants, and budget. Picks in uh, of this system in the rigs channel on the discord it's so sick but kafakori i appreciate you coming in and saying that you're 
you enjoyed the stream and that it was helpful to you because man, I am so invested in those now. I thought that was just one thing I was doing for the one thousand, you know, for hitting a thousand subscribers. Oh man, I'm like way into it. Plus you guys are nuts. You've gotten me up to like from, from where I was at 170 on the followers on Twitch. We're just about to hit 600. So that is, has just been all around a good experience for myself. And from what I understand, it's been a good experience for everybody else. If you've never been to a PC stream, you've, you've probably never been to a stream quite like this one. It's a ton of fun and I highly recommend you guys join it. But Kafikori, you got the comment of the week. Thank you so much for being part of the community and for trusting me enough to spend a, a couple of grand on a computer that I said, hey, this is good, you should get that. Thank you. So. If you guys like the video, if any of this, if, if five seconds of this was helpful to you, or if any moment of this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing because I want to keep this thing growing and get this information to as many people as possible because it can be really stressful to try and buy a computer. And I'm trying to make it easy for as many people as I can. Um, if you have any questions for me, you can pop them in the comments below or hit up the Discord. Link is in the description below. But to me, the winner is pretty obvious this episode. It's gonna be the gaming ready system from iBuyPower, the 1999 system with the 5800X and the GTX 3070. This thing will be delivered by Wednesday, July 14th. We're talking about a few days here. So if you wanna get this power combo on your gaming desk or in your gaming setup in just a few days, that's the winner right there. Just go to iBuyPower.com, click on same day ready system, scroll right down to it and there it is. So that's going to do it for this week's episode of System Integrators Weekly. I hope you found it helpful and entertaining. Uh, I'll be streaming tonight, doing some video games. And on Thursday, we got another gaming stream. Don't forget to go in and put in your questions for the Q&A video that I'll be putting up in a week or two. So until then, though, take care.